Hello again, everybody. This is Rocket Rick J18, and today I'm going to talk to you about some uh, recent pickups that I've had over the last uh, 10 days or so. Um, I'm continuing with my effort to uh, collect the 1962 Topps green tint cards of uh, the third series in that set. And so the first card I have to show you is card number 121, Billy Hitchcock. So in this, in this, uh, on this card, he's uh, represented as the Baltimore Orioles manager. And the next card is card number 120, uh, Bob Perky, Cincinnati Reds pitcher. Card number 119 is Danny Murphy, an outfielder, rookie outfielder with the Chicago Cubs. Card number 117 is Gary Geiger, a uh, Boston Red Sox outfielder. And last but certainly not least, card number 110, which is the first card in this series, is uh, Bob Skinner, um, the uh, left fielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates back at this time. Then I picked up some uh, 1964 Wheaties stamps, uh, and I got, got a few more, but I'm going to show you the Hall of Famers. Here's uh, Ron Santo. You, you can see that some of these were apparently pasted in an album, and you can see the stains from the from the glue that's ron santo here's willie mccovey here's juan marichal the backs of these cards are just blank here's al kaline and uh, this this uh, stamp is also got some glue stains on it. Nellie Fox. Jim Bunning. These are all facsimile autographs, of course. Um, I got, actually got two Willie Mays stamps. This is the better one. So you can see the perforations from where it was, you know, plucked out of a sheet. And here's a Carl Yastrzemski. There was one graded card in this. It's a um, Frank Malzone, who was the Boston Red Sox third baseman uh, in an X-Mint 6. Off center a little bit, top to bottom. Maybe it's just a skosh from left to right. Uh, so the next, uh, next cards that I'm going to show you are from... Uh, also from a 1964 set, and uh, this is it was issued by IDL Drugstores. It's a uh, small was a small chain in the Pittsburgh area, so they're all pictures of pirates. I'd say they're probably you know three and a half by five, something like that. There's Bob Veal. Uh, 
and Don Clendenin. There's a uh, Bill Verdon. Looks kind of like a professor, I think, more than a center fielder for the Pirates. <laughs> and uh, lastly, Willie Stargell, looking pretty youthful in this picture. This would have been Willie's second year, 64. And the, uh, the next card that I have to show you, actually it's the last card that I have to show you, is uh, the uh, 1950, it's 1954 Stallmeyer Franks card of Whitey Lockman. And uh, it's in a uh, SGC1. It's a big card. As you can see, I'll just hold up a standard size card next to it so you can get a get an idea of the size difference. The backs of the cards have uh, some statistics on it, uh, uh, an, an offer to send in uh, some uh, Okay, the cellophane wrapper from any package of Stallmeyer Franks or label from JAR and 10 cents to cover postage and handling. Uh, you send that to Stallmeyer. I'm going to give you the address because it's, it's old enough to be remarkable now. 172 East 127th Street, uh, New York City. Postal Zone 35, New York. No zip codes. <laughs> so anyway, here's the back of the card. Pretty colorful. And like I said, the statistics and the offer to get a baseball kit, which, uh, you know, has a bunch of things in it, and including some, uh, I guess you could could play a game uh, with it or, or keep, keep score and as you, as you're going as a real game was going along on TV, I suppose, or the radio. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I probably will never be able to afford the uh, Mickey Mantle card of this. The these sets they they were issued between 1953 and 1955. And uh, different sizes, different, you know, use, reusing the same picture many times, maybe all the time, as far as I know. I, I only got one of them, so I can't, uh, I can't tell you for sure. Um, <clears throat> the mantle card, uh, mantle cards uh, go for varying prices because one of the sets, and I've forgotten which one, uh, you can watch. Yeah, you, you can watch Blue Jacket 66's video uh, of his Stallmeyer uh, mantle cards, and it, they're spectacular, of course, but they're going for, you know, crooked numbers uh, with commas. So to give you an idea of what you're, what you're looking at. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to have, uh, you know, an example of those cards. I, I, I also picked up... Uh, something interesting. These are uh, 1960 armor coins. And uh, they're so hard to see you're not you're not going to be able to tell anything from them but they have a you know, uh, they came in different colors. So here, these are, this is a red one. There was, there was also blue and light blue 
yellow, uh, orange, red, dark red, uh, black, light green, dark green. I mean, I, it's lots of different colors. So. Uh, this happens to be Nelly Fox, although you probably can just barely see the image. And the back of it has uh, has the name of the player and some other little bit of information on them. They're plastic. Uh, but, you know, they don't show up very well, so I'm not going to try to show them all to you. But uh, uh, in this collection of uh, our, it's 1960 armor coins, there were uh, six Mickey Mantle coins, which is, is what attracted me. Now, they're all, they're all the same coin, so... Uh, uh, I might uh, I might think about possibly selling them, or you know, they're not they're not particularly valuable. But uh, um, anyway, that's uh, that's what I have for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like this sort of thing, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And uh, I'm I'm inching up on two hundred. Um, subscribers so uh, uh, I'm hoping that uh, I, my original goal was to be at 200 by the end of the year right now I'm, I think I'm at 193 um, so you know pretty close so yeah maybe a there may be a celebration I guess uh, once, once I get to that so um, at the end here, uh, this is Rocket Rick J18, wishing that all your collecting dreams come true.